here welcome back to another episode of sims 4 parenthood and yes guys i completely forgot about my fall mod but look at this the beautiful world is now fall <laughs> i can't believe i forgot about it but i was looking at an old video thanks to you guys commenting on some of my old videos and i was like looking at some stuff and i was refreshing my memory and then i was like wait a minute <laughs> How in the world did, oh my goodness, what happened to me? Oh, okay. Oh, I got nervous. I was like, did she have an accident? Anyway, and I completely forgot about this mod, but I did a review on it actually last fall. And I want to say it was last around Thanksgiving time, but it basically changes the entire world to look more like uh, fall with the leaves and stuff being red and green and orange. And even some of the default plants, it changes them to the different fall colors. But anyway, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I finish recording, I will see if it's still in existence. But I think I remember some time ago someone telling me that they couldn't find it and neither could I. So I don't know if it still exists. Oh my gosh. So anyway, but um, it is really cool. I really do like it. Um, but Ashley finally has uh, a lot of things happening in her garden. And yes, it looks like things are dying, but it's only because of the fall mod. But I kind of want her to take a picture for her book. So I'm actually going to have her do this now. Um, Let's take a photo and then we'll take a photo of uh, the, hopefully we'll get the right area here. Uh, okay, cool. So we can take a picture of her trees, her little, um, her plants that are coming in. Like I said, they look like they're dying, but I promise you guys they're not. <laughs> That's probably the only bad thing about the fall mod is it makes everything look like it's dead. Um, huh. Other than that, I think that's all I'm going to be able to get in this little area. So I'll get the last little picture here. But if you guys remember, I had her working on a book. And it's going to be about growing a garden and kind of sustaining your own garden and kind of uh, what is going on? Okay, I thought something was wrong with her mouth. I was like, girl, what is going on with your mouth? Anyway, let's take another photo. I'm going to try to get the apple trees right here since I didn't really get uh shoot. I'm like still too close. Hold on, y'all. I hate that. I hate. I wish that there was a way you could back up with the camera. Then I feel like if I go too far back, it's going to be like crazy. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Hopefully, hopefully. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, that's better. At least we'll get some of that fall foliage in the background. Because technically, I don't even know if I'm not. I like the idea of making my own stuff in my own garden and stuff. But I don't. <laughs> this is going to sound crazy. But I don't, um, I haven't done it before. We've only done it like once. I kind of want to get some of these fall leaves and stuff. Can't believe I forgot about this mod. And this is how Alaska looks right now. I should take some pictures and post them for you guys because this is beautiful how the, the leaves and stuff are changing colors. But anyway, Janae is in class all star today and she gets to be interviewed by her entire class. She's feeling nervous and kind of excited Should until someone asks, how come you always get A's? <laughs> I think Janae is proud of the self, of herself as far as her grades go. Her parents have definitely instilled in her that she's they're very proud of hers. So I think she's going to be witty. Um, or Max, maybe she'll just be real. She'll actually be real. So let's let her be real. Let's see what it says. And yes, I am still getting this error log message. Um, anyway, Janae shrugs, squirms, and tells the truth. Um, all right, cool. So, all right, cool. So it looked like she did fairly well. I think I've done that before, to be honest with you guys. But um yeah, I think I think I have. But sometimes I feel like they give us different uh, different answers, like different things happen afterwards, I feel like. Uh, anyway, let's go in here and get her something to eat. Hopefully she'll be having the baby this episode. Um, but I was going to say, yeah, so I've always wanted to do that. But um, with the garden situation. I think it's a really, really cool thing. But I was going to say, I don't know if in the fall time you're supposed to be like gardening. I think you're supposed to be doing it in the springtime. So our apple trees and stuff, this is going to sound so green. I know y'all going to be like, what in the world, Samantha? You don't know this. No, I don't. But do apple trees and stuff, do they still grow in the fall or do they just grow in the spring? I don't know. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have no clue. I'm going to let him actually clean out the spoil food. I know he gets so squirmish, but, um, and then I'm going to have him grab him a serving of actually, let's get the chicken stir fry. That sounds delicious. Um, anyway, so then we can have all that taken care of. But y'all, oh my goodness. So <laughs> if you guys are watching University, Audrina has got so much drama going on right now. And it's exciting. I love it. Um, and for some reason, though, I thought they were on the same time thingy. But apparently that save file is not on the same. Can you sit with your wife? Awesome. Um, but I'm going to have him ask how she's feeling and um, brighten her day a bit. 
uh, ask her. Well, I think the only thing we could do is ask about the baby's uh, today. Yeah, like, uh, how are you feeling? Dang. Do you feel like the baby is coming anytime soon? Um, but I like that they can have these little times to the, each other before the baby comes because right now all the kids are in school. So Braylon Jr.'s PE class gets no to run laps, lots of them. So blah, blah, blah. blah. Would coach notice if he, okay, first of all, Braylon Jr. is Braylon's son. Braylon runs and jogs. As a matter of fact, he was coming from jogging this morning when I started the recording. So I'm going to have him keep running. Oh, uh, I don't know what it's going to do for him. So that's my problem with these log messages. Bah. I swear I'm going to figure Blurba. it out. Um, Braylon glances. Oh, Zaz. girl, really? <laughs> I was not expecting that. She's like singing to him right now. Oh my God. You guys are just too much. Um, anyways, he got a, a small performance game. That's perfect. I mean, because these are the Tharps kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be that easy. But so Braylon does have to go to work today. He got a promotion last episode, which I am so excited about. I'm going to try to have him go into work inspired. And I think. How do you go to work in fire? I don't know. Um, I think you do you paint or do something like that? I don't even know. How do you go to work in fire? Oh, you know what? Do we have any dough? I think if you have dough, you go to work inspired from playing with dough. Don't we have dough? Don't we have dough somewhere? Like I swear, I feel like I always see them with dough and yep, we do. Perfect. So he's gonna play with that dough <laughs> right before. I think, I think, I think, I think that's how it works. And then um, as soon as they're finished chit chatting or whatever, but I am gonna have him do another gig tonight. He has another spot, which is like a little karaoke bar that he's gonna try to go um, do some bartending at. And hopefully we can kind of narrow down where he's gonna get his uh, his his mid his what am I trying to say his um his moonlighting oh my goodness i can't talk anyway we're gonna try to go resume cooking on your garden and i also want her to do a little social networking so she can start promoting her book coming out because i feel like this one is going to be a best seller um i don't know what he's doing with his life right now but what do you need to do to get ready for work uh so he goes to work in four hours um let's see okay he's actually really good right now I'm going to have him, I don't want him to do work work, but I feel like I've been wanting to do like, I don't know why I'm this far out, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just like always just scrolling this little camera around. I kind of want him to do some upgrades. So let me have him do, actually, let's go to the kids side because I feel like we always do stuff in our bathroom, but we really haven't done anything to the kids. So let's add a superior flush over here and uh, then do uh, superior flush over here. And then he'll do those little upgrades or whatever. Because like I told you guys before, Braylon is definitely proud of his little house. Um, if you guys saw Dine Out, you know that he lived very... I mean, it's funny because he has like... Um, what's the trait? He's kind of materialistic. There you go. He 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 likes the finer things in life, but he really but he loves what he does as far as being a bartender and he really doesn't make like a whole heck of a lot. But when he does make some, he likes to spend it, you know, on things that make him happy, if that makes any sense. But um but his previous house <laughs> was kind of like a trailer. It was a really cute trailer. I don't know if like I said, if you guys haven't seen the um dine out, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But it was a really cute trailer and it was it was really it was kind of sexy. I'm not gonna lie. When I went over to his house, I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what you're working with. But um but it wasn't, but he had it decked out, y'all. Like on the inside, it was decked out. It was the ultimate bachelor pad. And even from the outside, it was decorated really nicely. But it was a trailer. But anyway, so this is like his first home. You know, like his first official home, like a big house, whatever. And, uh, you know, he picked it out for his family. So he's very proud of it. And that's one of the things he's always said he wanted to do was be able to provide a beautiful home for his family and then do the upgrades and kind of like make it, uh, you know, efficient, do all that type of stuff. So I want to let him have the opportunity do that because it's so important to him but anyway i'm just going back and forth trying to see who's doing what in the meanwhile i'm going to actually let the kids make friends for a little bit because I, I think it's always important like let's act like they're on recess or something like that but i did see something before i started recording janae is having a mean streak right now and i was like what is that but i haven't seen her be mean to anybody but it says it's the time to be mean just because this sim is feeling nasty and will relish the chance to be mean to other sims i don't think the other ones yeah the other ones don't have anything right now so um it just makes you wonder they still have their toddler traits so i guess since they just aged up they're still feeling kind of like <laughs> normal but janae you know she's she's going to be aging up pretty soon to a teen so she's like in that 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 tween stage if you get what i'm saying um which actually makes sense because her daughter her brothers and sisters um her brother sorry and sisters i think if i remember correctly she somebody texting us 
Hey, Ashley, it's Ginger. Do you want to hang out tonight, girl? No, I'm supposed to be having this baby tonight. You know, I appreciate the invite. Wait, Ginger pregnant too? Girl, no, we both going to be at the hospital later. No. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I feel like uh, I'm trying to remember because I think she was a toddler. Yeah, she was a toddler when they were born. Oh. So there's like a little bit of an age gap there, but she's definitely more in the tween stages and she'll be a teen, you know, in a little bit. But oh my mm. goodness, I think wifey needs like, um, uh, what you call it? I'm going to go offer her a massage. And that's so funny because Braylon is just that type of guy. He's going to sit here and do all this work on these bathrooms. And then he's going to go over there and give his wife a massage because he's just that type of guy. And he's like, oh, you know, I don't even know what to say about Braylon besides he is like goals, <laughs> like for real, besides, you know, the thin lips. Okay, Sarah, I know you've made your, you've made your point already, but <laughs> I don't care. I can overlook thin lips, you know, for everything else, but <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like Braylon is just like a really top notch guy. Um, so she, I don't know how much longer does she have for this book. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's taking her forever. Um, but we're going to get it. Oh no. She's uncomfortable. I thought we just used the bathroom. Okay, girl. Get up because I don't want you to have a, uh, an accident. And she needs to um, take a to go take a nap and everything like that. But I'm still going to let him come over here and give her a, um, a massage and everything. And let her take a little nap because I don't know when this baby's a coming. Uh, and you know what? Honestly, I'm saying he's going to go to the karaoke bar tonight, but it might not happen if if she has the baby um, today. So, you know, he might end up having it. As a matter of fact, can he take family medical leave at this point? Okay, take family leave. He can. I think I'm just going to let him take family leave and then he can go to the bar and do that whole deal early. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, because I mean, technically, she's about to have the baby any day, right? I think she's on the, yeah, she's on the question mark part. So, yeah, that is definitely a thing. He is going to um, take family medical leave. And then that way, he might can even go out early and do that. So let me um, come over here. See, she's feeling confident. Okay, let's go over here and offer her a massage. All right, let me get down in here. I don't know why they're going to do it in the back. Oh, no! Poor Braylon. He's like, I just took off. Okay, yeah, you can invite Joey over, Janae. Ah. Of course you can. Um, then I'm going to have him come work on this because, like I said, that's just good. Okay. Um, but he's going to offer her a massage. Oh, let me get in here and get this picture, even though the water. Oh, wait, y'all. What is he doing with his hands? I don't know what kind of massage that is. Yeah, okay. So you know, already know if I make this the thumbnail, people are going to be like, what are they doing? What are they doing? That looks really weird. But anyway, the eyeshadow, though, girl, you popping. I can't even get to you. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Anyway. <sighs> So there she is right there. She's getting her little massage on and somebody is calling her. Oh, okay. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like I'm going to let um, Ashley kind of call Audrina for a little bit and just see what's going on. Check in on her while she's at school. I wish that the time was the same, but it's not. I thought it was. I don't even know what's going on with that. But anyway, she's going to give her a call and just say, hey, honey, I'm about to go take a nap, but I just want to check on you really quickly and just see how everything is going. All right. And so Janae has Joey over. Is this Joey right here? Who is this? Who is this? No, this is our, this is what's her face, right? Yeah. So who's Joey? I'm about to say Joey sounds like a boy's name, but Janae invited Joey over. So this is him right here. Okay. Joey Huntington. Oh, okay. So you're one of the Huntington's kids. All right. So let me come over here and play with him a little bit um come on let's go over here uh let's ask for some typing tips i guess because that's that's what she'll do right <laughs> she'll be like so joey um let's brag about grades a bit talk about favorite animal uh discuss fractions oh my gosh she's such a nerd oh but he's cute Dad, Dad. oh my god his little voice is cute too uh -huh. tell and make believe story cute. pop culture reference oh this is cute Dad, like sit on the floor talking um let's do something else let's see uh, let's ask the cloud gates and they can do that for a little bit and for some reason skyla's taking a nap braylon jr's taking a nap and tara is i don't even know what tara's doing right now <laughs> who is jasmine how does she know somebody named jasmine oh she's a teen maybe from school i don't like when they talk to other uh oh What's going on? Okay, I got nervous. I don't like when they talk. Oh, she could. Oh, no, that's her. I'm gonna say she could breeze through her homework, too. I'm trying to get her to do her homework real quick. So let's do homework. And uh, Janae, of course, she can kind of hang out with him for a little bit because um, she really doesn't have that much to do as far as homework and stuff goes. And then I'm gonna have her go play dolls with Joey. Uh, in the meanwhile, I guess what I'll do is. <laughs> what are you doing? He's over here smelling the dress. What are you doing? 
Why are you so trash? Okay, I think I'm gonna have him take. He'll take a nap on the couch because he wants. Uh, he'll let Ashley have the bed, y'all. When you're in that last little trimester of your pregnancy, man, your body, you be like like a starfish, arms, legs, everything just be out. <laughs> And so, yeah, it's really uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable. And I think maybe by 530 or 6, maybe he'll head over to the place. Because uh, like I said, I don't know when she's going to have the baby. Hopefully before we go. Actually, I'd prefer before we go and then we won't go at all. But if not, I do want to get that taken care of so we can at least have that um, done. And oh, look at you, baby girl. You coming out here to do your homework? Oh, okay. <laughs> She hopped up on that table like, I wish I could be playing with my sister and her guy friend here, but I'm going to do my homework like a good girl. Are they really super tired? Yeah, they are. Okay, I'm going to let them finish uh, sleeping. That's fine. I'm not going to push it. Um, but I like this. I like when they have little play friends over and stuff. It's cute. Um, oh, goodness. Don't bang on my dolls, though, dude, because they might sleep. And you want to tell them, your, your dad, Jay Huntington. That's funny his name is Joey because I'm almost positive his dad is Jay Huntington. I'm almost positive. Um, all right, so they're still playing. Alrighty, all right, cool, 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 cool. And Ashley is sleeping. We're like on baby watch right now, y'all. Like, no lie. We're on baby watch. Aww. Okay, I think, you know what? He looks like he's good. So what I'm going to do is get him up and then we're going to go and head to the bar. Alright guys, we are at the karaoke spot and I have seen it all. Death is over here singing karaoke right now, y'all. If this ain't the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, <laughs> as far as The Sims go, because I'm sure it's not the craziest thing I've seen in my life, but it's definitely pretty crazy. It's one for the books, I'll give you that. But he is like, look at him. Oh my goodness, like nobody's going to believe this. I'm going to have to post this on Twitter. Like Death is at the bar, at the karaoke bar. Look at his hands. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've seen death since I got my new computer, y'all. And the graphics, look at this. This is crazy. So what's on his book right here? <laughs> look, I'm like, oh, look at the details. Okay. Man, you creepy though, dude. But I want to know what's underneath this, this cape right here. What's underneath the cape? Can't tell. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll let you, as you were. Look, as you were, sir. As you were. Anyway, so we're at the bar right now. We're working the little karaoke bar spot thingamajig right here. Think, look, thingamajig. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about. But anyway, so hopefully um, this is the guy, Seji Yamaoto. I don't know if that's the owner or whatever, but, you know, like I said, people have just been, like, calling Braylon. Ever since the Purple Rain situation, they've just been like, yeah, we need you here. We need you here. We need you here. So let's see who's coming in right now. Johnny Zest is supposed to be the mixologist, but we just took over his spot. We're not going to stay long because, hello, like, <laughs> um, I don't want it to be, um, it's t he is tending, right? Okay. He's tending to the bar, but, so I don't even know what time we got here. Let's say we got here at six because I don't even remember at this point. But, um, so we are technically tending to the bar, but this place is fairly dead. Uh, we got a person named Isabella Vale here right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll Death need to keep his little, I don't know what Death is doing right now, but <laughs> I had to clear those messages because I was way too nervous about um, <laughs> my game crash. And so I cleared them and saved them. I still want to know who this is because I remember when I did the city living preview or whatever, I was like, who is this right here in this, in this, um, in this, what you call it, billboard. Oh my gosh. But anyway, so I guess we're making drinks right now. Okay, go ahead, Braylon. Like I said, we're not going to stay too long because I don't want to be, um, you know here and and uh what's her face goes into labor so i don't know are we making drink who is who, i might say Dad, what are you doing like are you trying to get a drink or what is going on oh there's oh wait what i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry if that was loud what in the world is this what is this who is this this is dante i'm sorry y'all i'm so loud right now what in the world is going on that is Dante. Why are you coming in here kissing on this woman? Hold on. Y'all, what is this? <laughs> okay, so if you guys know, Dante is Ashley's son. And he's married. And this is not his wife. So what's up with that? Okay, hopefully it was just like a little... <laughs> A greeting of some sort or whatever what in the world y'all what is going on yeah I'm like watching over there cuz I'm like are y'all talking about cupcakes what is going on okay so 
What is going on? Yo, what is going on? Oh my gosh. Y'all know I'm peeping right now. I am peeping game right now. So who is this? Christian Ronald. Okay. And then Lola. What is going on? What's going on with you, Dante? I feel like I need to go talk to him. Where is she? Where does she go? Did she disappear? Where did she go? Did she go to the bathroom? Uh, she left out the front door, so I don't think she went to the bathroom. But what is that about? <laughs> Yo, I am shocked right now. Okay. I have no idea. But anyway, we're only going to work for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to go on and head in. Because, um, like I said, I don't want... Um... Oh, look, this is the lady from the... the... We need to do that, too, the New Crest Moms Club. I started it, and then we didn't even get it started anymore, but... Um... Yeah, oh my gosh. I am like shocked right now. I have no idea what that's about. He came straight over and gave that girl a kiss on the dog on cheek and then was all super flirty about it. Um, okay. I don't know what you complain about, dude, but you want to take over your shift? Be my guest. Oh, what is y'all seriously? So all of these people are just going to chime in and clean up after death. Look, he <laughs> now he's about to leave. <laughs> he's embarrassed. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so it's funny though because I always feel like once Braylon starts, well, not at that last spot. The last spot was dead. But at this spot, I always feel, I mean, at this spot, I feel like it's getting, it's getting packed and people are falling in because, you know, the service is good. Braylon does really good with the service, but I want to call him over. Can I call him over? Like, what is going on, son? Um, what is going on? I can't call him over? I don't know, it's gonna probably make me go over there i don't know what's up y'all but i feel like something's going on but um you know and I've, I've been getting some funny feelings about dante because last time we saw him he was like over in the corner chatting and i'm like I mean, he was on over in the corner texting somebody and i was like who are you texting like what are you doing but um you know he's a politician so if he's like canoodling with you know the constituents <laughs> then uh that's not gonna look good i'm like i'm checking him out right now y'all i feel like i have to watch him i do i feel like i have to watch him. i don't know what's going on but anyway so braylon what you got going on sweetheart what, what are we doing uh i'm gonna let him do it for like a couple more minutes and then we're gonna get out of here so yeah hopefully i'm just i'm just hoping that ashley's not gonna have a baby while oh what is up with everybody being so flirt? Okay, so Darlin's aged up. It's good to know. Good to know. I still don't understand that whole situation with Darling, but anyway. Wait, who's flirty? Oh, okay, that's Dante way over there. Okay, who is this lady coming in here? Oh, wait, why is he like, girl, you coming? Okay, you know everybody's hitting him up right now because, okay, well, there go the Isabella girl again. But, oh, there go Dante. Okay, cool. I'm like, let's talk with Dante for a bit and see what's going on. Like, son, what's going on? Let's, uh, let's just discuss some fitness techniques, I guess. I don't know who this lady is. Um, give some parenting tips, which we need to do anyway, because my goodness. Is she pregnant or is she just really big? MC Pro. Okay, she is. With Akito, Akita. I don't know who that is. Akito, Akita. With three feet. With three Oh my goodness, something's in the water in this town. Last time somebody had but why she don't have no shirt on? I feel like I need to fix her. Um but anyway. Oh my goodness, y'all. We gotta get out of here though. But I'm definitely gonna just check on Dante and to see how everything's going. I could have sworn we had a better relationship with him than we do, but um let's talk about politics a bit, because he's into politics. Just ask him about his day. I kinda wanna ask him who Homegirl is over there. Um let's see real quick, but the thing is I don't know her, so I can't ask about her because I don't know her. Um, I'm gonna cheat her. I'm gonna cheat it real quick just so I can ask him about her because I really don't want to come over here. Uh, ooh, relationships. Let's uh, set active, friendly, and we're just gonna do it as acquaintances. Nothing major. Just like we just because we can just assume that he met her when they were at the bar and she ordered a drink because I think she got a drink while she was over there. So I'm gonna ask him about her. Like, who is the Isabella girl you uh, came in here and um, gave a kiss on the cheek when you uh, when I saw you when you came in here. So uh, yeah, like who who is she? So let's just go on and ask him. Okay, is that a, are you are you asking him about her? Are you do okay? There he is, Isabella. Who is Isabella? Oh what? Oh, clutch my pearls, people. Did y'all just see what this little something she said? That he's in love with her? What are you talking about, son? I can't even get it to drop down, but oh my god, I can't even get it to drop down, y'all. What in the world? Okay, I'm so in love with really. Uh, let me ask him about your girl. Let me ask him about his wife. Well, what is going on if you're so in love with her? 
what is going on with Jacqueline? Like, you and Jacqueline just got married, like, literally, like, episodes ago. Like, what is going on with you and Jacqueline? Like, ask him, what is going on with you and Jacqueline? Oh, whoa. He's just like, you know, I'm married to her. Jacqueline's my ball and chain. We're married. Wow. Is he texting her right now? You know what? I remember her, y'all. I'm no, I'm like, I'm all sidetracked right now. I remember her because when he was like out there trying to figure out what he was doing with his life, and he couldn't get right with Jacqueline, and Jacqueline had just had his baby. Um, he was he he went on a date with her. They're like coworkers, but um, I just remember that. But I don't know. Um, I didn't know that they were still seeing each other. So that's that's quite interesting. But you know, we gotta kind of just put this behind us and go on and go home. Because I don't even know if Ashley's having the baby. So I'm just going to tell him, hey, let's let's deep conversation real quick. I'm just going to say, look, son, I think we need to talk. And yeah, he's going to say son, even though technically Dante's not his son. But we're going to definitely say, you know, um, you know, I'm just going to tell him goodbye. We're going to do a deep conversation. Like, I feel like we need me and you need to have like a really good conversation. And I cannot figure out how to say goodbye. So we're just going to act like you say goodbye. And I probably overlooked it because so many times I go to edit videos and I'm like, it was right there. <laughs> it was right there. Especially yesterday, I was looking for um, Stargaze, and I was like, or day before yesterday, rather, I was like, I can't find Stargaze, but y'all, it was like everywhere, but where else? <laughs> what is he doing right now? Can you deep conversation this dude? He's playful right now, so, I mean, you know, we're just gonna act like he deep conversation him real quick. I see, um... Sean is over here right now. Speaking of Sean. But anyway, so we're just gonna go on and go home, and um, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, y'all. Braylon just got home and he's like super tense right now. I think he's going to definitely feel the pressure knowing what he knows and having to go in here and like face his wife and his kids knowing that, you know, he just saw her son at the karaoke spot with somebody else. And the sad thing is uh, some of the concerns I know about Braylon working at a bar um, and doing all of that is that people are kind of like, you know, it's not a very, I'm not going to even say it's not a respectable thing for a husband to do. But, you know, it can get kind of stressful because of all of the scenes and, you know, being subjected to, you know, the women and stuff like that. So I can kind of see what the concern is with it. But then it's like he's just trying to provide for his family. And lo and behold, he bumps into Braylon out at the club at the karaoke bar in San Machuno, which is where he lives at. Uh, with another woman and then gushing about the woman like it's not that big of a deal and yeah I think look oh my goodness it's okay he just has like a lot on his mind he's like I'm just gonna go on and go to sleep Ashley is actually okay Surpri oh my goodness I'm not gonna do it to him we're just gonna replace it I'm not gonna do it to him um, he's done enough for the day but I don't know should he tell Ashley what he saw um I don't know. I don't know if he should tell her. Like, I feel like part of me is like they should have no secrets because, I mean, that's just the type of couple that they are. But then the other side of me is like, oh, my gosh, like, how do you tell your wife that her son, especially if you guys watch Dine Out and you know the backstory with Lamar. Um, she was work, working at a trophies at a restaurant called trophies and he was pretty much sitting at the house and she was the, the, basically the breadwinner. She was the one that made the money for the house and he sat around to care of the kids and she had to work late because the trophies was a very hot spot. It still is a very hot spot. It's pretty much like the Hooters of Sims. It's <laughs> very, very pretty women. You know, the food is really good. The camaraderie, the laughter, you know, the activities, everything is just popping all the dog on time. So sometimes she wouldn't be done working until like two or three o'clock in the morning and he was out gallivanting with another woman and um you know it devastated her they Ooh, separated and mom. unfortunately they separated right at a time where she was just like i can't even work at trophies anymore because now i got to take care of my kids and I have to be here for my kids so she ended up opening up her own restaurant and it's a long story but infidelity deceit deceitfulness rather lie, all that stuff you it, with ashley y'all it hurts her to her core you guys have no clue so the fact that um it could be her son and you know we had our issues with her son when he was growing up kind of like you know he got Jacqueline pregnant at an early age and you know things were what they were and so um you know it, it is what it is but you know she was pretty much like son you have to do right by her because it was the same situation with her she got pregnant young Lamar was way older than her which is why he's you know he was way older than her and um you know, long story short, what's going on? Wait, what in the world? What in the world? What is this? I'm like, 
here trying to have a serious conversation and he's over here destroying his sister's thing. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. Parenting. Um, discipline, recent behavior. We're going to do, we're going to punish him. Actually. Yeah. We're going to punish him. We're going to ground him. Should I give him a timeout or should I ground? I'm going to, this is crazy right here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to, um, I feel like I should ground him for that because I know Janae sat here along with uh, Skyla because I think Skyla was helping her with it. So yeah, he's getting grounded, y'all. You don't do that to your sister. Oh, oh my gosh. And then he's smiling. Dude, are you kidding me right now? It's on. It's on. And she is like way super pregnant. She has to deal with this. No way, Braylon. No, you are punished. I don't know what that means because I've never had. Oh, yes. Birdman hand rub. Okay. So, man, no toys or games. Y'all know that'll hurt him because he's always outside playing with that, that, that sandbox or he's out there playing with that dollhouse. Um, he doesn't really watch TV. He doesn't get on the computer. So I'm going to say no toys or games. For one day, he needs more than that. But yeah, you're grounded. You're grounded, son. I wish I could ground Dante right now. So he's grounded. And so let me see. Does he get a moodlet? destruction feels good are you serious what is going on with him yeah you're grounded son you are grounded and the sad thing is it's 114 so you're not grounded for long but <laughs> well i guess because he's about to go to sleep so half his groundedness is going to be sleeping but anyway i'm gonna let him go use the bathroom and get his butt in the dog on bed because ain't nobody got time for this like are you kidding me right now i'm sitting there trying to have a serious conversation but basically what i was just trying to say is can i do anything with this I think I'm just going to put it in my inventory and I'll give it to Janae early. I don't want her to wake up and see that. That's not cool. Um, what what else do we need to do before? Oh, my goodness. What are you still doing? up, oh, baby girl. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Come here. Uh-uh, Skyla. Hug her lovingly and say, darling, it's time for bed. Oh, it is Saturday. Wait, both of these kids out here, what is wrong with y'all? Let me go over here and talk with them real quick. Let's brighten their day and say, y'all need to go get in the bed. I'd rather do it this way because I feel like let's put to bed and then let's also put her to bed because, I mean, it's late, y'all. I understand you think that it's Saturday and you could just go do whatever, but both y'all need to go to bed. But, yeah, infidelity and lying and all that type of stuff, it's it's a very serious situation to, um, to Ashley. And even though she almost considered forgiving Lamar because of their history, because of the family, because of the kids, she wanted to do right by them. She eventually, I mean, honestly, I have to be honest with y'all. She eventually moved on, but it, if it wasn't for Braylon, I don't know that she would have because Braylon kind of showed her what, oh, this is going to sound so, this is going to sound so cliche, but he showed her what love was and what love really is. And, you know, he, I mean, he fawned on her. He gave her a space when he needed to give her her space. And he was just always there for her no matter what. Like, I swear to you guys, like, it was like, even when he was like, wait, why are we going all the way in here to put her to bed? We, we gotta go all the way in here to do it anyway even when she was like super stressed and sad over the divorce and the demise you know he was still there for her he helped coach her through he was like her friend and then you know eventually it was something more and then he worked for her so he was just like always there for her so anyway if it wasn't for him kind of showing her you know what it was supposed to be like hey you got dreams i got dreams let's work together let's do this together you know i'll give you your space when you need your space i'll i'll come around you when you need me to you know he was just always that guy so if it wasn't for him you know it's a really nice love story their love story touches me and i know it's just a game i say that a lot i know i say that a lot it is just a game but it really is so true it rings true you know and i would hope that people in real life if you have something that that hurts you to your core oh she can go outside at 243 in the morning and go really Braylon what in the world oh no she's having the baby I was just about to end this part are you serious okay guys I was just about to end it but I was just gonna say I would hope and like he immediately was like uh-uh put the plate down put the plate down my baby is going into labor ah! so I'm probably I, you know what I have to pre-record next week anyway because I'll be out of town and details will be coming soon I'm so excited but of course, I can't say anything about it right now until I can say something about it. Does that make sense? Probably not. <laughs> but anyway, I would just hope that people would, um, 
you know, if that ever happens to you, just know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. That makes absolutely no sense. Because if it's a rainbow, it's already pretty. But you get what I'm saying. There's always, there's always something pleasant to look forward to. There's always something pleasant to get to. It's not the end of the world, you know, no matter what the situation is going to be. But I have no idea what to do about the Dante thing. So you guys chime in. Um, I will be pre-recording, like I said, next episode because I will be out of town. So I'll be on a plane at this time next week. So um, yeah, so if you guys want to chime in on your comments, I'll definitely get to them, but we will not address this because she's about to have the baby. So I'm definitely not going to address this right now and be like, bae, by the way, <laughs> I saw your son at the karaoke spot and he was kissing on another woman. And when I questioned him about her, he said that he was in love with her and with Jacqueline, he's just married her. Isn't that some politician type something? Isn't that like something that a politician would say for real? Like, yeah, she's my wife. She's the one that I'm going to stand up next to when I'm on the podium or when I'm at the galas and the balls and stuff like that. But other than that, no, the person that I'm in love with is somebody totally different. I don't know y'all, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. You got a couple things to mull over. Thank you for the baby name suggestions from last episode. And I am going to go on and record next episode and use some of those suggestions. I don't know if we're having a boy or a girl. So it's going to be exciting, but you guys got to wait a whole nother week. I'll know. Isn't that crazy? Wouldn't that, that's horrible. I'm going to know, but you guys got to wait a week. You guys got to wait a week. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. Of course, chime in on all that Dante Jr. Dante, not Dante Jr., Dante Madness. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.